Harriers in their blue and yellow half shirts, navy shorts, navy socks. Goalkeeper Christian Dibble in pink with black shorts and black socks against a, an older shot side who uh, fresh after their 7 4 thumping of Elite Swindon. Uh, they're in their red and blue striped shirts, red shorts, red socks. Their goalkeeper Jordi van Stopperhoff in uh, green to start with. So Harriers have. Uh, We'll be defending the goal away to our right in this first period. The older shot players in a huddle and they break up as Harriers look to get this game underway. Harriers with Dibble in goal, Penny, Pierce, McNally, and Richards the back line. Christian Oxley, Chamberlain, Sam Robinson, Barry McGuire in the main route in midfield. Ben Tollett, Bailey Hobson, and Damari Morgan Smith leading the way for Russ Penn's side Russ in the uh, furthest dugout from us as Harriers get the game away played back to Dibble who drives that ball forward towards Amari Morgan Smith it's headed away and immediately Aldershot try to get on the run Harriers though picking up Caleb Richards with a good block gets it down picks it back up again out to Solid on this near side who then cuts in field Harriers are cutting this uh, older shot side apart in the early exchanges but a crunching challenge there from Hajim Noga and Harriers have a throw in of a level with the edge of the penalty area on this near side of the field which is the Harriers left and the three centre-backs go forward ready for this Oxlade Chamberlain long throw from this near side Penny and uh, McNally have got inside the six-yard box. Pierce standing about seven or eight away. Ball comes in, flicked on by Pierce, drops down to the edge of the area. Knocked back out to Oxley Chamberlain, who can deliver from this uh, left-hand side. He was looking for the overlapping run of Pollitt. That's not Tollett, rather, that wasn't there. And then Tollett tries to flick the ball in field and is broken up and immediately driven forward, but chested down. And Harriers bringing it away again. Robinson, though, beaten to it this time. Referee says no foul and. Uh, uh, Ryan Glover making the most of it and the referee saying stand up quite rightly too. 1 minute 29 minute seconds in here hold a shot turn nil get him into Harriers nil Harriers starting quite brightly we will be looking to fire forward at the uh, at their earliest opportunity. Full fixture list today with uh, Dagenham playing Solihull Moors, the last game to be played today. That's been kicking that's kicking off a little bit later. Long ball forward, flicked in field by Barham. Barham down this right hand side again, but the ball's turned there from Stokes. Turns away from Oxlade Chamberlain who stands his ground. Goes for the return to Stokes and he steps inside the challenge this time. Hobson's trying to get back at him. Aldershot coming forward. Plenty of bodies there. Played on the overlap. A little chip ball into the centre. And it's cleared away by Pierce who gets caught in the face by the rising foot of Jack Barham. Harriers get the free kick. Treatment. Christian Dibble runs over to the far side to collect the ball. It's a tight little ground here at the uh, the recreation ground. It's, uh, the floodlights are on. Well, we do have uh, still have clear blue skies, but uh, floodlights shining. The older shop fans. Making a fair amount of noise to our left and to our right, to be fair as well, as Harriers clear the ball long. All the shot in to clear it, but Harriers through Pierce get there first. Oxley Chamberlain caught out there. Good work though from uh, Robinson. Finds McNally. McNally losing out on that far side of the field. And it'll be a throw in to Aldershot, which they take. 
back to their own line, and it's with the goalkeeper, Jordi Van Stoppershoff, looking for movement. Now he is playing that high line as well. Played upfield, but good work there from Pierce, who read that ball. Now he is winning it back through Hobson. Back to Penny. Oxley Chamberlain's going to uh, have to run across there. Tolaj was chasing him down. And uh, well, now he needs to be a little bit uh, stronger than that as the ball's played over the top. Tolaj is going to leave it. It's going to be a Harriers throw in on the far side. A defensive throw in. Level with the edge of their own 18 yard box. Penny organising things in the centre. It's uh, McNally who's going to take this throw in as. Uh, the young army cadet retrieves the ball for him. They're just over four minutes of the game so far, still awaiting the first goal as Harriers win another throw in, make about 20, 30 yards progress up that uh, right hand touch line. Played in short this time. Robinson getting it back to Penny. Penny slips as he tries to clear and it's blocked down and there's a free opening now. Jack Barham in against Pen Dibble and Dibble stands firm to kick the ball away with his right leg. Penny slipped as he cleared. The ball played back in and Jack Barham tried to play it across the goalkeeper but Dibble was equal to it. And it'll be a corner on this near side of the field. Corner to be taken, first corner of the game. Ollie Harfield it is delivering it into the centre, headed away by Morgan Smith. Drops as far as Josh Stokes, back again this time to Ryan Glover. Glover angling a ball back into the area. Harriers have left a bit of space on this right hand side. Hurstfield will do well to keep it in, which he has. And then he uh, flipped the ball off the back of uh, Caleb Richards, second corner to hold a shot. To be fair, a kicking slightly down the slope from left to right. We've had just over six minutes of the game so far. It is Old Shot Town nil, Kidderminster Harriers nil here on BBC Hereford and Worcester on 104, 104.6 FM and online. No goal so far as Harriers look to defend a corner again on this near side. <coughs> Harfield it is with the delivery, left footed. Goalkeeper thought about coming, but Morgan Smith clears his lines. Tollett charges it down. The referee says play on. Tollett's still going to be beaten to it as the cover comes from Tyler Frost. Lifting the ball forward again and then it's played through and onto this near side. Chance for Barham. Lifting the ball in from the right hand side. Over hit though and it'll be a Harriers thrown as the ball whoops, this runs away off this uh, greasy surface here at the recreation ground. <coughs> and it remains. Long shot town nil. Kidding it's a Harriers nil. Uh, oh, he is indebted to Christian Dibble. So, and, uh, Alex Penny getting away with it, and this time he doesn't slip and clears the ball over the halfway line. Headed away by the older shot defence to a throw in on the far side. The area is right on the halfway line. Reese McNally looking to take it for the visitors. And, uh, Navy blue and yellow halved shirts. Picked up by Pierce. <laughs> Angle back to his goalkeeper, Christian Dibble. Dibble coming to just on the edge of his penalty area. Looking to launch this ball long down that right hand side towards Morgan Smith. Morgan Smith gets in front of his man. He thought he got a push there, but it wasn't given. Maguire. Winning the uh, ball and then uh, Tollett just getting in the way and there's another ball over the top. It's direct from Aldershot but it seems to work for them. Jack Barham waiting for support. Down this right hand side. It's the run this time from Jones. Jones fires the ball against Caleb Richards. It's another corner for Aldershot and this early pressure is putting the Harriers defence under a, a little bit of uh, scrutiny at the moment. Penny standing in the middle of the box. It didn't, it didn't go for a corner. It was a throw in. It's been taken on this nice. Oh, given away by Tollett this time. Ball into the centre. And uh, Dibble down to save 
from Josh Stokes at the near post. Well, there he is. Trying on not to uh, make their own mistakes, but we've had almost 10 minutes of the game really. It's really flying this match at the moment. Corner shot nil. Kidderminster Harriers nil. Harriers with a throw in on the far side. Sammy Robinson to take it. If it is not, it's a free kick. He's uh, placed it there about a yard or so inside from that right hand touch line. Looking for the delivery. Drilled in towards uh, Morgan Smith, but it's uh, well read. McGuire doing well to. Head that down to Penny on this near side. Maguire with the ball, lifted it forward. Pierce uh, stayed forward, but the ball breaks. An older shot, humble as the climb is not given, and there's a break on now as Harriers defend and defend in numbers. Good work from Caleb Richards, helped out by Penny, and gets it back to his goalkeeper. And that nullifies the movement of Laurent Tolage and also Jack Barham. The two older shot strikers who amongst the goals last week, ball down offside against Tollett as he breaks into the area he puts the ball in the back of the net but uh, it's not going to count still a nil-nil on a shot town nil, Kidder Mr Harry is nil Frost trying to get his players organised Jordi uh, then stops off, gets the ball back from his uh, from Sean Harris. Harris it is who's coming out of the centre, playing the ball out to Noga on this near side. Back with Harris, closed down by Morgan Smith, and then driving the ball over the top and a good run from the middle, leaves it open. Shot comes in and it's just wide from Stokes, about a foot wide of the right hand upright, that was direct, but it's been a bit of a worry, well I uh, must admit, older shots direct approach is certainly posing a few problems for, Har for Harriers, already uh, Christian Dibble having to make a, a smart stop to deny Jack Barham after uh, Alex Penny slipped on trying to clear the ball, it was headed down straight into the path of Barham, who had a clear run on the Harriers goal, it was then the keeper's turn to save an effort from Stokes as uh, Tollett misplaced a pass back towards his own defenders, and just seconds ago as you came to me, Stokes running onto a through ball from Sean Harries and then driving it about a foot wide of the Harriers right hand up right. All older shot at the moment, 12 minutes played, older shot nil, can it the Harriers nil. <laughs> Welcome back to the recreation ground, or should I say the EBB Stadium. Nil nil it is. Alongside me is Matty Paddock, who's uh, watching this game. It's been a little bit concerning, a few of the movements. Yeah, I mean, all the shot, as you would expect, playing with the confidence of, of a team who, this time last week, I think by this time in the game, 10, 12 minutes in, we're about 3 or 4 nil up against EFL opposition. Right? Except that was a kind of a freak afternoon at the office, but it'll do wonders for the confidence will that and, and you can tell there's been an overspill of that and Harriers are having to do their defending here two really clear sights of goals so far for the home side and Harriers have stood up well, well Harriers just watching a free kick played straight down the middle expecting the, the run there of Laurent Tolage but uh, it wasn't to be all ends up with uh, Christian Dibble Drops it just outside his penalty area. Left footed clearance towards that right hand side, towards Morgan Smith. All bouncing though over the top of them. And then again the second bounce, taking it away from Reese McNally as the ball's back with the older shot keeper. Right footed clearance over the halfway line. Little flick header. Penny goes across to uh, hold off Barham. Sliding the ball down the line, chested down, but uh, into touch off uh, the chest of Sammy Robinson. Morgan Smith immediately coming across to try and halt the run and halt the ball going forward and Harriers closing down from the front ranks as Noga finds Harries 
Woodrington trying to make a run through the centre. Stokes getting it back to Noga. And again, there he is not really keeping an eye on the runners off the ball at the moment as Widrington found space. Ball into Barham. Back to Widrington. Squared across as Tollett looks to close down of Nozier. Nozier's going to have to go back to his goalkeeper. And Stubbershoff looking for a little bit of movement. There isn't a great deal of it, so he's just standing 20 yards from goal with his foot on the ball, his bright orange boots against his uh, green goalkeeping uh, kit as he drives it forward right-footed this time. Flicked on again to uh, Tolos. Tolos with the strike, but it is wide. And this could be a, a little bit of a difficult afternoon for Harriers. Harriers have a, a goal kick. Fifteen minutes played here on BBC Hereford and Worcester, 104, 104.6 FM and online. Old shot town nil, Kidderminster Harriers nil, but uh, the pace and movement of the home side causing a few concerns. Russ Penn going to the edge of his uh, technical area. That's the clearance from Dibble upfield. Eddie Ombunoga drops there to Robinson. Robinson trying to break through the older shot defence. It's a good run this from Robinson. Played out wide to McNally. Forced him just a little bit further wide than he would have liked. He clips the ball in from that right hand post uh, area rather, and it's going to be picked up by Hobson. Running back towards the uh, touchline, it'll be a Harriers throw. Caleb Richards looking to take it this time as uh, he's going to keep their defenders back. No long throw by Oxlade Chamberlain. Richards looking for movement. There isn't a great deal of it at the moment, it must be said. Referee trying to get Richards to take the throw. Balls it in, finds Tollett. Tollett turns. Little flick ball back to Maguire. Maguire was trying to find whether or not he could get a ball through to Morgan Smith, and uh, the answer was no. As Tollett tried it as well, and it's Oldershot who come away with it, flicking it long. Pierce picking the ball up in defence. What a high line Harriers are playing as he steps over the halfway line. Clips it forward. Chase there for Hobson, but it's going to run out of play, and it'll be a, an Oldershot goal kick. We've had 16 and a half minutes of the game so far, and it remains... Oldershot Town nil, Kidderminster Harriers nil, Fylde nil, York City one. Burgess with the goal for York in the game up there. Hartlepool one, Ebbsfleet one. The survey getting a goal for Hartlepool, Clifford getting the goal for Ebbsfleet. So Harriers flick the ball forward again, looking for an opening. Morgan Smith challenges, Hobson with it. Step over there by Oxley chamberlain who's got his shirt being tugged all over the place there, and the referee seeing Widrington make that move. Oxford City 1, Woking 0 is a latest score as well. Goal there from McCracken after 13 minutes for the home team. And Wheelstone 0, Rochdale 1. Mitchell with a goal for Rochdale after 10 minutes. That brings you up to date in the... National League, the way things are going at the moment. Harry is pressing forward. Brought down there by McNally. Played out again to him. He gets to the byline, lifts the ball into the centre. Hooked away by the red and blue striped shirts of the home team. And Harriers will get the throw in on the far side. Still an attacking throw. Midway inside the older shot half of the field. Oxlade, oh, that's poor. That is poor. Harry is building on that far side of the field. So Chamberlain only had to play it back to McNally. But uh, diverted it about a six or eight yards wide of him. And Harry has all that have to regroup off the ball. The ball's hit long to that far side. Miss McNally doing well there to head it away over the far side. Glover there, holding his head. The uh, clash with uh, the 
I think it was Benelli. Ball's going to be changed as well, referee. Today is Paul Johnson. And he's just gone to check the football. Doesn't uh, doesn't like doesn't like it, so he's going to get it switched over. His assistants today, David Pilling and Peter Lowe. Pilling with the red and yellow quartered cap, quartered, quartered cap, quartered flag even. Lowe with the all yellow. And Harry has come away with the ball on this left hand side of the field. Oh, one back though by home side and immediately trying to get it forward good uh, cover play there by Penny who's limping away after that limping and uh, his left oh, struggling to put weight on that left foot of his throwing this near side There he is defending in numbers again as it's played all the way back this time to the halfway line. Ball with Harris, lifting it into the centre. Good one from Stokes. Wide on this right hand side is Jones. Jones angling a ball into the centre. Good defending by McNally. It's dropped in. Blocked by Pierce. Cleared, but only as far as Widrington. Widrington's shot takes a deflection off Hobson. And it's a corner to Aldershot. And it's frantic. Harriers not quite clearing their lines. They're under the cosh a bit at the moment. Corner for the home side. Lifted into the near post. Headed away by Penny. Tollett is chasing on this near side. He's going to try and close down Jones and then he's going to race all the way back. And there's a Glover's going to get caught there as he's uh, well, he's won the first part of the battle, but uh, Harry is running all the way back with them. It's got to be offside against one of the two, and it is against uh, Barham. And uh, Harry is defensive line, but that was good uh, tracking there from. Misty Tollett, then Morgan Smith, then Robinson. He stopped uh, Glover knocking the ball long and he had to race down across the field. Approaching 22 minutes played. Christian Dibble with the free kick, 10 yards or so outside his own penalty area, away to our right. Lifting it long towards Morgan Smith, who gets up well, heads it down, but it's... Uh, Directed where he wanted Pollitt to be, but uh, the ball runs through to Jordi Van Stoppershoff, the goalkeeper of Aldershot. Yeah. Smith again trying to close it down. Dibble coming a long way to clear. Chase there for Hobson as uh, Noga. Gets caught. Harry has felt that the ball would have been theirs, but it wasn't to be. Good run that from Hobson, who raced in to try and uh, put the older shot defence under a bit of pressure, as it is so far. Older shot have had the better of the chances that have been created. Long ball back to the goalkeeper. Run step ashore. Head to Harry's. Harry's again just looking for drilling that ball some 50, 60 yards forward. A bit of a battle there as uh, Oxley Chamberlain beaten to it there. Shot from Glover, it's one more. And it opens it up. A simple goal. Harry is unable to defend. Oxley Chamberlain it was. Who stood his ground, but he was beaten to it in the end. And Aldershot celebrate with the opening goal of the afternoon here. And it's Stokes who's got it. Josh Stokes with the, the opener. And Harriers find themselves a goal down. 24 minutes gone. 
A simple ball through the middle. Well, Harry is out. Oxley Chamberlain unable to hold him off. And in the end, Dibble beat. And the ball, a low shot into the bottom right hand corner. And Harry is trail by Golden Hill. Dibble firing it forward. Headed away. Put down by Simmons on that far side. Ball in again. Harry is with Hobson trying to build. Oxley Chamberlain on that far side. Bailey Hobson, but the ball had a play on the far side and Harriers trail just joining us here on BBC Hereford and Worcester live from the EBB Stadium in Aldershot Aldershot Town 1, Kidman to Harriers 0 goal arriving on 24 minutes Josh Stokes are getting the goal Well, not good news, I'm afraid, if you're a Harriers fan. They've just dropped behind. It's 24 minutes in when Josh Stokes was able to run on to another long ball. He uh, held off the challenge of uh, Christian Oxlade-Chamberlain, steadied himself and finished with the plum as he beat Dibble into the bottom right-hand corner of the Harriers' net. Harriers, it's been coming, to be honest. They've been uh, struggling to uh, withstand the wave of speed and attack of the home side very direct but it's working for them so far 26 minutes gone it is Oldershot Town 1 Kidderminster Harry is nil Harry's building right hand side can they get a response Robinson Boyle goes down there from the challenge of uh, Pierce 10 yards or so inside his own half of the field Free kick to Aldershot. Matty Paddock is alongside me. He's had a chance to have a look at the goal again on the uh, on the monitor. Your thoughts? It's uh, just holding off here. Is Aldershot on the attack again? Yeah, and it's turning away. Second shot. Well, across the face of goal on this occasion. And uh, Harriers have got to be mindful of this, the movement of those players and uh, Stokes very prominent in following those balls up. Yeah, it's, it's not a good goal, unfortunately. It's, uh, it, it's one long ball and ultimately Stokes has come from, a, I wouldn't say deep as such, but it's not like he's in, he's in a position where he's 10 yards out and has just tapped that one in. He's travelled some distance, so uh, yeah, that is disappointing and Harry is already with a, a pretty tall order here, but... They have been scoring regularly, not with any great quantity, admittedly, but they have been scoring regularly, and hopefully there are chances and goals still in this one for them. Well, that's what we'll be hoping for. Can Harriers uh, find a response to that uh, that goal? And uh, well, it's a bit of tugging of the shirt there on Stokes on uh, Oxley Chamberlain. I must admit, I thought there was a bit going on in the lead up to that goal as well. But the referee choosing not to uh, have anything so far as Harry is ever throwing on the halfway line Reese McNally to take it for the visitors long throw Glover falls down as he tries to clear Harry has win it back through Oxley chamberlain down the line picked up there by Harry is, but again, all the shot quickly into that uh, into that ball. Sam Robinson unable to hold it up this time, but comes back towards the Harriers back line, and there's a, a massive gap over this side where Aaron Jones is standing on this uh, right touch line right in front of me. Kenneth Richards has got to go to him. He's going to try to make sure that people defensively, Barham's covered by Penny. So there's. Intelligent movement off the ball here by the home side, who again look to attack and look to come forward in numbers. Jones, Widrington. Jones again, back this time to Noga. To Harris. Harris, oh, he saw his uh, clearance blocked off there by Morgan Smith, but the challenge comes in, and now it's Glover. Infield to Widrington. Widrington trying to cut the ball through the middle. Good block there by 
Caleb Richards, but again it's the blue and red striped shirts of the home team who pick up the loose ball. Widrington angling it to Jones on this right-hand side. Trying to link up there with Stokes. Played into the middle, though. Harriers haven't tracked it back. Good run this by the number eight, Tyler Frost. Playing it back towards uh, Widrington. Ball takes a bit of a deflection. It's picked up now by Oxley chamberlain Harriers have got four going forward in this attack. Oxley chamberlain looking to the left-hand side, but it's behind everybody. Poor pass there from Oxley chamberlain who... Well, Morgan Smith had peeled off his man, broken off to the left-hand side, done everything that was right on him, but the, the ball to him was just uh, a poor ball. As when Stoppershov plays it out to the far side. Approaching the half-hour mark, if you're just joining us, here on BBC Hereford and Worcester, there's a second opportunity, that's offside, against... Uh, Two players there, both Tolaj and Jack Barham had uh, moved ahead before that ball had been played through. Not behind the Harriers' bat line, and the Harriers have a free kick. Christian Dibble just checking with the Official on this near side, David Pilling. Places the ball down and then strikes it left footed into Aldershot territory. Tollard it is who collects the knock down by McNally. Maguire, good feet there, taking it away from a few players. A little flick header there from Morgan Smith towards goal, but it's headed away. And then cleared up the line. Barham trying to turn against Penny, but he's been forced back. Doesn't need to go forward as well. Second time. Stokes. And uh, obviously Christian Chamberlain having a bit of a battle again. All the way down. Widrington. Angling a ball to this near side. Caleb Richards with the header a clear. Only as far as Jones. Goes under pressure again as the ball's played into the middle. Charles Vitoas to move off his man. Good work there from Pierce, standing his ground. And Pierce being pulled across. The ball played quickly. Referee will bring that back. Of work there, Pierce will be standing and listening to the referee. Gets a speaking to, but it's only a free kick. Thirty-two minutes played. Still Harry is trailing here by a goal to nil. That goal coming on twenty-four minutes from Josh Stokes. There he is, holding that line. Jones, oh, he's under pressure there. And uh, good play from Robinson, who comes across. Harry is needing players to uh, pick up Harry's, which they haven't done. And he swings the ball in, headed away there by Morgan Smith. Tollett's going to chase that out a little bit uh, stronger than he has. And it's Aldershot who have the ball. Now Harry is a sprinting out. Played over the top, no offside. Stokes couldn't get that. Dibble looking for that short ball, but again, a long ball over the top. There he is, manager Russ Penn. Firing instructions. Ball played forward by Dibble. Morgan Smith gets a bit of a, a knock over there from Noga. Brought down by Tollett. Can he find space? He finds Robinson, but Robinson's run into a bit of trouble. Tollett will get the ball down. Robinson's just gone on the overlap after him, but now he's going to cut back inside and nobody's there. 
Played in towards Oxley chamberlain with a shot. Oh, he's hit the stanchion behind the goal. Well, that was a good effort from Oxley chamberlain The first real effort for Harriers on 34 minutes. Tollett setting him up. And Oxley chamberlain rattling the stanchion behind the goal. Collected by Jordi Van Stavershoff, he was uh, beaten all ends up by that strike. But still, Harriers haven't quite uh, been able to provide that, uh, that that killer touch really in the final third. And Stavershoff with the ball down, thinking of playing it short, and the referee. Shedding the goalkeeper to play the ball quickly. As uh, pushing the back there by Penny on uh, the striker, Lauren Tolo, Jones, Widrington. Still on the ball, Harry is. Robinson's header there, taking it away from Ryan Glover for a throw in on the far side. Just under 10 to the half to the half time whistle. Harry is struggling a bit. They still do at the moment, Trev. We've got just under 10 minutes to go here at uh, the EBB Stadium. An older shot, full value for that uh, solitary goal advantage. They've opened Harriers up with their direct style of play and pace up front. And uh, as I say, uh, it's taken a few deflections and dibble there, trying to keep that ball in after another deflected effort. Goes behind for older shot's fifth corner of the half. Harriers will be on at 24 minutes. Josh Stokes running from deep, running onto a ball, held off the challenge of Oxley Chamberlain to uh, drill the ball into the bottom right-hand corner of Christian Dibble's goal. That's the only goal so far. As we say, 36 minutes played now. Older shot down one. Kidderminster Harry is nil. Corner far side. Driven into the centre. Headed up in the air there by Maguire. Drops to Stokes. Harry is on this near side. Plays a little ball back in. Stokes... Harriers get the free kick. Stokes pulling on uh, Robinson. And Stokes getting done for that one. Referee coming to this near side. Harriers get the free kick and it's going to be a yellow card for Tommy Widrington. Tommy Widrington gets the yellow card. And it's a free kick. Cleared forward by Dibble. Flick back header. Harris is there to hook the ball clear. Penny with a cushioned header down. Maguire trying to get it forward, but. And Tollett's. Racing forward, trying to go and close down goalkeeper Van Stoppersov, who's got to the edge of his area. Another long ball down that right hand uh, side of the Harriers back line, but again, good work there from Sammy Robinson, getting back to win that ball. Pierce, McNally, both of them, when having just to knock the ball about. Pierce it is under pressure. Drilled out to this near side. It is a Harriers ball as it came off Tolaj. Down the line. Harriers looking to go. The ball into the centre, but it's Harriers is there who hooks his clearance left footed away to this near side. And Harry is starting to press in the final seven minutes or so of this first half here at the EBB Stadium. Scoreline reads. Older shot town one. Kidderminster Harriers nil. As, uh, Harriers win it again with the throw in as Widrington can only turn the ball out of play this time. Ball across to Christian Chamberlain. Uh, Offside Chamberlain out to McNally. Robinson on that right touch line. Offside Chamberlain with the ball. Again out to Robinson. Can Harriers find an opening? Robinson almost level with the penalty area now on that far side. Goes beyond his man and wins 
throw in. I think the ball just rolled the wrong side of the corner flag there. Oxley Christian Chamberlain has uh, got the ball, plays it back to Robinson, and that's offside. And again, Harry is building play on that near, on that far side, and a puff of the cheeks from my co-commentator beside me. But again, Harry is guilty of giving the ball away cheaply when they had an opportunity to build. Happens far too often, I think many people would say. Good stop us off though with the free kick down by that corner flag on the left from our commentary position. Ball headed down. Pierce comes across. Good work from Reese McNally. Bailey Hobson looking to make the challenge. Free kick though to all a shot and it's Tyler Frost over it. Back to Harry's again. Down to that left hand side, half field it is. Played it forward to Stokes and then out again this time to Glover. Glover trying to angle the ball in, but Harry has defend well by McNally. And uh, half field and take the throw in on that far side. Torres again run, intelligently running off the ball, coming low, coming deep to receive it. Widrington, just a little ball out to Jones. He'll go back this time to Noga. Angled down the line, little flick header. Penny's there though, looking to clear. Jones finds Barham. Back to Jones. Crossfield ball picked up. Morgan Smith, what a challenge that is, and a. They have to do another one now as the ball's in to an effort. Saved there by Christian Dibble. The effort coming in there from Glover. Shot from distance, didn't really trouble Christian Dibble. Just uh, under four minutes to the interval. Well, it's a time added on as well, but. Uh, Clearance there from Dibble, headed down. Chance for Hobson to chase, but he's turned his back there on Harris, who clips the ball left-footed to Jones. Up towards the halfway line, good work there from Penny. Chested down by Caleb Richards, can he find space? Back to Penny. Penny's trying to get Tollett away. Turn the ball running away for a goal kick. Referee just having a word with that. Uh, Virgin Noga going down there under the challenge from Tollett. But uh, to be fair, Aldershot deserving of their advantage. As they build again, and Morgan Smith looks to try and close down Harry's, and then goalkeeper Van Stoppish puts it out to the far side this time, and Harfield will bring it forward. Finds Glover. Leading field there, good turn from Tolo, she opens it up for Barham. Barham going up, good block there from Caleb Richards. Ball drops and Richards is there again. Plays it back to Robinson and then out to that far side to Bailey Hobson. Block though this time, good uh, run from Widrington. There he is. See as Widrington's opened up in the middle of the park now, trying to get the ball still moving forward as Jones goes for the return, but Caleb Richards doing well there. Maguire chasing over to this near side. Holding off the challenge. Referee says no foul, and Widrington knew it wasn't a foul, but Maguire caught in possession there by Stokes. He's out to the far side again. Harry is under a bit of pressure here as the fullback comes forward. Harfield out to Glover. Harfield's made the run again. Little ball into the centre. It's hooked away there by McNally. And it is another corner to Aldershot. They're sixth of the half. Ryan Glover going to that far side to take it. It's been an entertaining opening 45 minutes here. If you're an older shot town fan, it's been a bit nervy for the Harriers fans in the crowd. That was Glover looks to deliver again. Good deep cross into the centre of the box. Headed away again by Morgan Smith, who's defended admirably, helping out his back line. Frost it is, trying to open up a new opportunity. 
Harfield out to the far side to Glover. Glover comes back in, little reverse pass, the ball into the centre. Harriers have got bodies back there, they haven't cleared yet. Bailey Hobson has, but nobody's upfield. He was the furthest forward and he was on the edge of the 18-yard box. Into the final minute of this enthralling first half. Holder shot one, Kidderminster Harriers nil. Glover moving swiftly on that left hand side little ball chipped into the centre there's a chance and it's oh well Harriers were ball watching Barham had the opportunity but he couldn't get his foot on it and Stokes coming on the far side oh couldn't quite make it at the moment Harriers oh playing second fiddle and a big second fiddle they now don't look at some positional change just three minutes of added time at the end of this first half added times two minutes on the board over there which uh, it was definitely three as Harriers look to try and get something before the half time interval ball down the line good run again from Harfield there he's going to go and try and take on uh, Rhys McNally McNally stands his ground and uh, Pierce giving the uh, goal kick. Still 1 0. All the shot. Manager Tommy Widrington keeping a, an eye on the, on the clock. Dibble it is with the ball on the edge of his six yard box and clears left footed to this near side. Caleb Richards with a little bit of a flick. Jones with a just a hand up there as uh, Richards went to jump. The referee says yes, a free kick and Harriers will take on this near side on the halfway line. Alex Penny to take it. Well, he'll leave it this time to. Caleb Richards as Penny strides forward. The older shot defence all coming out as one. Richards lifting the ball towards Morgan Smith on the far side. He rises well, heads it into the danger area, but nobody down on the end of it again. And the ball goes away for a goal kick. Older shot down one. Kidderminster Harry is nil. and Stavishov looking to drill this ball forward. Plays the ball out to this right hand side. Harriers will have the throw in though as the ball drops down. Caleb Richards will take it, will he? Or is it going to be Penny? Uh, Penny just uh, drying the ball on his arms. Looking to deliver the ball down this left hand side. Headed back, it's one though by Maguire. Morgan Smith chasing away down this near side. And it's a throw in. No good. With the throw in on this near side for older shot. Half time whistle blows. Older shot town have the advantage. That 24th minute goal from Josh Stokes gives Older shot the advantage as they come off the uh, field at half time. Direct movement, direct play, and uh, creating a number of opportunities. Harris have struggled to uh, keep the forward line at bay. Let's not forget, Aldershot Town had put four past uh, a league club on their own pitch by this time in last week. So, uh, Harriers uh, certainly holding their own in that respect, but they'll be a little disappointed they haven't been able to uh, do a lot of movements and get the ball 
down in the older shot half of the field. Perhaps a time for Lambert to uh, come forward and do something. Older shot down one, Kidderman to Harriers nil. The half time school as you arrive here at the EBB Stadium. Harriers have been playing second fiddle to Older Shot's direct approach and the speed and running off the ball of the, the front three Josh Stokes, Jack Barham, and uh, Laurent Tollage. And it was Stokes who scored the goal for Older Shot after 24 minutes. He uh, chased from deep a, a long ball into the heart of the Harriers defence. Oxley Chamberlain looked to have him held, but the ball broke. And Stokes went, Stokes went forward to be more drilling the ball into the bottom right-hand corner of Christian Dibble's neck. Dibble, who'd earlier saved from Barham and Stokes, uh, was left flat-footed uh, about a minute or so later when Stokes shot over the bar as Harry has struggled defensively to contain a lively older shot. So I do, don't forget, last week put seven past Swindon on their own ground. Clever shot from uh, distance. So it's an easier save for Dibble as half-time approached. And Harriers can look back on a 34th minute effort, which Oxlade Chamberlain snapped at from 20 yards or so, which struck the tan- stanchion behind the left hand upright of Jordi Van Stapperhorst's goal. Harriers will be happy to go in at half time, just a goal down. They will have advantage of the slope in the second half, but they'll need to be very, very mindful of the movement of the Oldershot players. Half time here, Oldershot Town 1. Mr. Harry is nil. Steve, thank you very much indeed. Welcome back for to the duration of half time. For those of you on 104 and 104.6 FM, we'll be back at Aldershot, of course, for the whole of the second half. Let's go to the Victoria Ground. Half time here, I think. Bromsgrove Sporting against Stratford Town. Stratford had their noses in front the last time we heard from Matt Taylor. Yes, indeed, Trevor. Nil, nil. Uh, sorry, uh, one nil to Stratford Town, as you say, at half time here at the Victoria Ground, and a really cagey, competitive game overall in this first half. Bombo Sporting just really looking, really lacking that final ball, and that's what Michael McGrath and his side will have to sort out in this second half if they're going to get anything from this game. Stratford took the lead in the 38th minute. It was really uh, their lone striker, Callum Ebanks, just chasing a slightly overhit pass. He got there just before it drifted out of the touch line and. Uh, is right-footed uh, cross across the line, uh, squeezed under the Bronze Grove keeper Oliver Taylor, popped up into the air, and it was uh, the midfielder Lewis Ludford Eason who was drifting into this six-yard box just to knock it home into an empty net. So sloppy defending in the end from Bronze Grove Sporting, a disappointing uh, half-time scoreline given that it was a pretty even half overall, but plenty of work to do in this second half. It's Bronze Grove Sporting nil, Stratford Town one. Thank you very much indeed. We'll catch up with Luctonian's progress in just a short while. On BBC iPlayer. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I'm Joel Domit and this is the most physically demanding and emotionally draining game on TV. Right and through the dirt! You've got this! Ah, ah! Who will outwit, outplay and outlast the rest? Do you think there is anyone I should be wary of? We're all together, yeah. but the weakest has to go. To become soul... Survivor. I want to stay, I want to come D, and I want to win. Watch on BBC iPlayer. It's Sport on Saturday here on BBC Harold and Water. Let's pop to Lactonians. They haven't quite finished there yet, and I think it's desperate defence. Dave Thomas. Yes, Trevor, we have right at the death of the game. Um, 42 minutes showing on the clock. Referee's given two penalties against our scrum. Camborne are five yards out. It was going to be another scrum. If we concede, we will be giving up a, well, we're doing 30 to 26. Right on, just after half time, Giles Morrell picked up a loose ball and went over in the corner, 20 points to 19. Uh, two more penalties by Silver. Interesting one uh, early on that Camborne were given a try and then the referee disallowed it for held up. Never seen that before at Mortimer Park. 27 minutes. Um, Lux. Uh, gave away a soft try, a Matavesi pass. Ben Pridey uh, converted 29-26. Two more silver penalties during this period. 32-26 to Lactonians. This is the game, Trevor. They're scrumming right on our line with two penalties down. If the scrum collapses again, it'll be a yellow card against a Lux player. So we're right up against it now. Ball's gone in. Camborne are pushing. And you can hear the crowd. Um, don't know what's going to happen here. Oh, penalty against us, and I don't understand that. 
But anyway, so this is live radio, Trev. <laughs> uh, they're going to scrum again. Um, and this is the game, as I say, you know. They okay, Tom, Tom, we're going to come back to you because actually the signal's not great at the moment either, but we will come back to you in just a short while to get a full time. But obviously a lot of people probably on their phones around there at the moment, uh, but it's just breaking up a little bit. We'll go back to Bromsgrove as well in a few moments and get a uh, roundup of the other local scores. That I can tell you Bromsgrove Rugby Club are going very well this afternoon. They were 50 nil up, 53 nil up on Broad Street the last time I saw there. Yep, they are 53 points and nil. That in Regional 1 Midland, so they're obviously flying in that. But let's give you a few scores from around the country. We'll go back to Dave Thomas as soon as the final whistle has gone. In the Premier League, the lunchtime game, big win for Wolves, who were a goal down after only three minutes at home against Tottenham Hotspur when Brennan Johnson scored for Spurs. But Pablo Sarabia... He scored a minute into added time at the end of the game. Looked for all the world as if it was going to end one apiece in that one. Until Mario Lamina popped up seven minutes into added time to win it for Wolves. Wolves 2, Tottenham Hotspur 1. In the three o'clock kickoffs, of which there are three in the Premier League, Arsenal lead Burnley by a goal to nil. Leandro Trossard scored a minute into added time there. It's Crystal Palace 1, Everton 1. Vitaly Mikalenko scored for Everton in the first minute of the game. The lead didn't last long. Eberichi Ize with a penalty after five minutes put Palace back on level terms. At Old Trafford, it's goalless. Manchester United 0, Luton Town 0. Bournemouth play Newcastle United in the 5.30 kickoff. In the Championship at lunchtime, it finished Sunderland 3, Birmingham City 1. Half times, Cardiff City 2, Norwich City 1. It's goalless in the matches between Coventry City and Stoke City and Hull City and Huddersfield Town. 0 0 in both those games. It's Wish Town 2, Swansea City 1. Leeds United 2, Plymouth Argyle 0. A couple of 0 0 for you, the matches between Middlesbrough and the leaders Leicester City. And Queen's Park Rangers against Bristol City at Loftus Road. Both games are goalless. Millwall are going well at Hillsborough this afternoon. Sheffield Wednesday or bottom of the table, nil. Millwall, two. And Southampton lead West Bromwich Albion by an early goal there. Will Smallbone scored after only five minutes. One nil to the Saints at half-time. Watford, two. Rotherham United, nil. In League One, the lunchtime game. Peter United, five. Cambridge United, nil. Half-time, Bolton Wanderers, nil. Blackpool, nil. Carlisle United, nil. Bristol Rovers, one. Cheltenham Town 1, Wigan Athletic 1. Derby County 1, Barnsley 0. Fleetwood Town have had a good first half. Fleetwood Town 3, Exeter City 0. Lake Norrient 0, Oxford United 2. Lincoln City 0, Port Vale 1. It's 0-0 between Northampton Town and Burton Albion at Sixfields. Down at Fratton Park, Portsmouth, the league leaders are a goal up on Cheltenham Athletic. And Shrewsbury Town 1, Reading 2. Reading with two up there inside the first 15 minutes. Tom Bayliss has pulled one back for the Shrews. It's Wickham Wanderers nil, Stevenage nil. Into League 2, AFC Wimbledon 1, Doncaster Rovers nil. It's one apiece at Valley Parade between Bradford City and Barrow. Colchester United nil, Sutton United nil. Crawley Town 1, Accrington Stanley 1. Crow Alexandra nil, Notts County nil. Grimsby Town nil, Morecambe 1. Not uh, Newport County nil, MK Dons nil. Salford City one, Mansfield Town two. Swindon Town one, Stockport County nil. So the leaders trail. Tramier Rovers one, Forest Green Rovers nil. It's nil nil between Walsall and Harrogate Town. And Wrexham one, Gillingham nil. Ollie Palmer's goal in the first minute there. In the Vanarama National League, AFC filed nil, York City two. Aldershot Town 1, Kidderminster Harriers 0. It's 0-0 nil nil between Altrincham and Southend United. Boreham Wood 0, Bromley 1. Jamal Fifield of Boreham Wood sent off three minutes before half-time there. It's Chesterfield 0, Barnet 0. Gateshead 3, Dorking Wanderers 0. Hartlepool United 1, Epsilon United 1. Maidenhead United 1, FC Halifax Town 0. Oldham Athletic 0, Eastleigh 1. Oxford City going well. Oxford City 2, Woking 0. Wilston 1, Rochdale 1. Your 5.30 game at that level tonight is Dagnam and Redbridge against Solihull Moors. 
And finally, in the Conference South, Alfreton Town 1, Scarborough Athletic 2. Boston United 1, Hereford 0. Brackley Town 1, Blythe Spartans 0. Buxton 1, Farthley Celtic 2. Chorley 2, Peterborough Sports 0. Curzon Ashton 0, Bishop Storford 0. Darlington 3, Chester 0. Kings Lynn Town 0, Spennymore Town 1. Scunthorpe United 1, Gloucester City 0. Southport 0, South Shields 0. Tamworth 0, Banbury United 0. And Warrington Town 0, Russell Olympic 1. As for the other local half times, here's Matt Taylor. <clears throat> Staying in the Southern League Premier Central is Redditch United 1, Barwell 0, Nuneatonborough 1, Alchurch 1 in the Southern League Division 1 South. Malvern Town, they've got a two-goal lead at home to Benton Heath Harlequins. In the FA Vars, Worcester City were pegged back to back, back initially, but uh, they finish at half-time 2-1 up away to Wolverhampton Casuals. And it's AFC Wolf Unions 0, Starport Swifts 2 in the Hellenic Premier. The Thornby Town versus Hereford Lads Club game was actually postponed. Upon my apologies, and that was for a waterlogged pitch. It's Wantage Town 0, Hereford Pegasus 1. And it's 0-0 between Mangotsfield United and Westfields. And finally, in the MFL Premier, Beaudley Town still struggling for points. It's Romulus 5, Beaudley Town 0. Thank you very much indeed. We'll go to Lactonians in just a moment, but the teams apparently are coming out of Boston for the second half there. Boston United 1, Hereford 0 at half time. If you'd like full second half commentary in that game, you can get it right now on 94.7 FM and online. Your match summariser is Paul Fewings. Your match commentator is Keith Hall. Let's head back to Mortimer Park. How did it end up for Lactonians then? Did they hold out? Dave Thomas. Trevor, yes, they did. This club is going to shorten my life by years. 32-26. That last period of play when I was rambling on, continued on after you said we'll come back. We had penalty scrum, penalty scrum. I don't know where the referee saw all these penalties. Then we had penalties for not rolling away. He gave five penalties in that last series passage of play, five minutes. He got the, he gave a penalty line out to Camborne from the five. The guy put it right in the corner. We went up, nicked it came back down, turned the ball over, kicked it out the back, final whistle. What a result. A tremendous rear guard display by our boys. Half time, uh, the half time score was 15 to 19. And then we got a score nicely in the second half, early doors, a kick through by uh, Josh Watkins, Charles Morrell, their fullback slipped over. He scooped it up, and scored in the corner. Wonderful. Um, then we had a, where uh, 11 minutes in two scrums to Camborne, uh, a push over, uh, sorry, a line out uh, pushed over. The referee gave it. Two minutes later, he disallowed it and, and went for a goal line dropout, I guess, intervention by the touch judge. Anyway, we then had three penalties by Louis Silver on 18, 23, and 27 minutes. Took us to 29, 19. We were looking comfortable, but no, a break by Chris Lucas try under the post, converted by Ben Priddy for Camborne, 29-26. A 34-minute Louis Silver penalty put us 32-26. And then, as you heard, we had that series of penalties, scrums, line-out penalties, scrums, and uh, our boys got up and nicked the crucial one. What a wonderful rear guard action by the lads, and I'm absolutely chuffed to bits for them because they were really under the cosh. And uh, the show's back on the road, Trev. We had a, a game we lost last week where we should have uh, should have won, and a 50 minute, a 50 meter penalty hurt us. Today the boys held out, and this will do them a power of good going away to Clifton. Another big match next week. Tom, I thank you very much indeed. Dave Thomas said, well done, Lux, holding out with that one for a big, big win, bonus point win as well. But let's go back if we can to older shot. I think players are out there. Are they Steve Miller? Do you know what? He's gone. He was there a moment ago and he's just disappeared. We'll try and get him back in a few moments' time um, because, uh, unfortunately, um, 
uh, the line appears to have dropped out there, so we'll get Sir Steve back just as soon as we can. Uh, Max next door will be working on that furiously, I'm sure, to try and re-establish contact uh, there with Steve Miller. We've got a few problems with the signal there, apparently. It worked perfectly well in the first half, but of course it doesn't in the second half. So we'll go back there just as soon as we can. Apologies for that. I think the second half about to get underway. I heard uh, Steve Miller saying that the players were out, uh, but we will be back there just as soon as we can. In the meantime... <laughs> The sound of where we live. Of where we live. And all all the music you love. BBC. We will try and go back actually to Steve Miller. I'm not sure if we can we can go back to him. I think uh, and see if he can uh, pick up the commentary now. Uh, he's having problems making contact with us. I think that's a problem. We can hear him, uh, but he can't hear us. So uh, until we can make contact with him, uh, and he can let me know that he can hear us. Uh, let's see if we can go back there. Uh, let's pick up Steve Miller now. Uh, Steve is back, so we will side. take up commentary now on 104 104.6 FM uh, and online. And on this near side of the field. Uh, the ball's there, throwing down this near side again. Harry is defending in numbers. The agent at half time, but uh, with the throw in, to throw in two Harriers will be taken by Reese McNally. Long ball down the line over the head of uh, Murray Morgan Smith, but McNally will chip it forward. Good turn this time from Morgan Smith, who takes it in his stride. Tries to get the ball to Hobbs. Way forward, Bailey Hobson in the centre circle, dropping it back to Penny. Penny angling the ball, it's uh, watched by Harris through the goalkeeper. The Audi Stavashov, but Harry is once again coming in defensive duties. Good block that from Morgan Smith. Looking at the moment to see if they can close down where they can, if they need to. The ball's out to the far side. They should have gained building in the middle. At this time by Noga. Harry is chasing. Really, they've got the advantage of the slope with them this uh, yeah, second I, half. The ball's played over the top and Barham's making a run. Harry is though blocking him off this time. Hobbs loses out in the middle of the park. Tolaj gets beyond Maguire. The referee says play on. Break. Still going forward and Glover. Glover lifting the ball into the centre. Brought down. Have ball against Stokes. The shot on the turn was over the bar in any case, but the referee well positioned to see that and it remains after 47 minutes all shot 10 nil uh, one kid of Mr Harry is nil to apologize that we don't have full coverage back with the, the studio at the moment we've got a few technical issues but hopefully you're enjoying the uh, commentary here from the EBB stadium even if the scoreline isn't going away in Harry's favor there's a uh, Glover challenge each other down this near side. Right for the shots. Ball forward by Harfield. Helped on its way back into the Harriers uh, area by Frost and then by Widrington. Harriers though defending in numbers, but Harfield being closed there by Tollett. One back there by Oxley Chamberlain as Tolaj trying to take it on, but Harry is bringing it forward this time with Pierce down that left hand side. Hobson keeps it alive. Good turn against his uh, marker. Finds Pierce. Little chip ball towards. Uh, Oh, and a shot coming in there from Tolage after good, uh, sorry, from uh, Tollett after good work from Morgan Smith. The ball flying wide of Van Stoppenhoff's goal. 
Tommy with that right foot shot. And there he is. Looking to close down. Morgan Smith. Trying to close that ball off. Tollett as well. As Harfield drives the ball back to Harris. Harris. As McNally tries to lead that line out quite high towards the halfway line. Ball played down. Penny goes for the run and wins the ball away from Tolaj and then clips the ball upfield. Help back towards the front line as headed down by Barnes to Tolaj on that far side. The two strikers combining before getting the ball out to that far side again. Tolaj trying to flick the ball down for Barry. We get to the byline. Little ball cut back. He's going to beat uh, Caleb Richards to the ball as well. Plays it back. Space on that right-hand side. Good work from Richards getting back. Break into the area, though. Shot coming in from Stokes. Corner ball to Aldershot. The ball would have had a man sent off, and they trail probably by a goal to nil. Altrincham nil, South End nil is uh, a latest as well. Filed a trailing 2-0 at home to York City. <laughs> Gates had a four up at home to, Dar to Dorking. 51 minutes there. It's all level at Hartlepool against Ebsfleet. Maidenhead are leading Halifax. Eastley are leading at Oldham. Oxford are leading Woking 2-0. The ball's into the area again. Harry is defending in numbers. Trying to clear their lines. Not successfully at the moment. Play back. Good work though. Now Harriers can break. And it's Hobson leading the charge over the halfway line. Slightly overhits it. And it's uh, picked off there by Jones. Aaron Jones clearing his lines defensively. As I say, Oxford City 2, Woking 0. Wheelstone 1, Rochdale 1. The evening game. Dagenham and Redbridge against Sully Hall Wars. is a 5.30 kickoff. 51 minutes played here. Morgan Smith challenging. Down the line. Good work there from McNally. Finds Maguire. Maguire across the edge of his own 18 uh, yard box. Then running into trouble. And it's older shot who picked them all back up. Movement off the ball again as it's out to this left hand side. Arthur trying to link up there with Ryan Glover. The ball into the Harriers area. It's taken by Christian Dibble. The Dibble's left footed ball over the top trying to release Tollett, but it's well chested down there by Hajim Noga. And Harries flicks the ball out to this left hand side to half. Gets the ball back again from Glover. Harry's finding space. Tollett still trying to work his uh, effort to try and close everything down. But Harry's is it. Up against Morgan Smith and uh, Aldershot are going to clear their lines eventually. Widrington on the left edge of this uh, touch line. Gets it out to Glover back to the Harding. Harry is trying to close down space at the moment as Harry's lifts the ball through the middle Penny with the heading clearance picked up by Glover as it drops on near the halfway line Harry's watching it as uh, Tollett chases Ball back with the tall keeper uh, to the far side to Noga Still Frost trying to open it up, then Widrington, now Glover left hand side. Harry's made a great run into the area, clips it in, it's come off him last, it will be a goal kick. Fortunate there for the fullback who made good space and time and running to get there, but no joy at the moment as Harry has tried to look aloft to Zach Brown, it is who's uh, being ready to come on Robinson and Morgan Smith down in front of us Morgan Smith chases across that little flick header it uh, goes behind Robinson Glover trying to get it forward Maguire stepping in there first though Oxlade-Chamberlain 
Trying to play it down the line. But again, he's uh, too close to this uh, near touch line. And Harry is about to make the change. And it's 22 Maguire coming off. Zach Brown coming on. Hooked. Well, 54 minutes gone here. Still older shot one. Kinnaminster Mr. Harry is nil, but Harry is having a little bit more enjoyment uh, going forward. And Murray Morgan Smith linking well to set up Tollett, whose right footed shot flew wide of the goal. But the two strikers certainly putting themselves about against this uh, older shot back line. And Harry has a uh, well, they've restricted uh, older shot to movement, but nothing coming at the end. Just made their first change as well. Zach Brown coming on for Maguire, so an attacking up the minded option in moving uh, Zach Brown to more a forward uh, role in midfield. We've had 56 minutes on the clock. It is older shot ten one. Mr. Harry is nil. Angling a ball to this side towards Morgan Smith. But it's uh, a throw there which allows Christian Oxlade Chamberlain to take this closer to the byline and closer to drive. Can he find a way to get this ball into the box? McNally is there, so too Penny, so too Pierce, all at the front edge of the six yard box. Good one in, flicked on at the near post and it's headed over his own crossbar by Minogo. Harriers get their first corner of the game and it arrives in the 57th minute. Minogo over his own uh, crossbar, good defending. Harry is with the corner then on this near side. Kenny Richards comes across to take it. Richards, can he deliver? Left footed, he'll be moving in towards the uh, older shot goal, lifts it towards the far post. And Penny was trying to rise there to get the header, but he couldn't get off the ground. <laughs> Disappointment. Yeah. Etched yeah. on the faces yeah. of Harriers fans and a few players as well that Penny couldn't quite get there. And he's chastising himself as he goes back to the halfway line. 1 0 they trail alongside me. Matty Paddock. It's, uh, well. Harry's second half have, have started quite brightly, but they haven't quite got to the edge of it at the moment, have they? No, again, fashioned a chance. You know, it was positive to see with Tollett just striking over, but again, it was a chance really you know, straining at every sinew to get it, wasn't it? Nothing's coming easily, and nothing's coming uh, confidently, I should say, to Harry's. Uh, older shot on the break again. Goal scorer Stokes trying to set it up. Good run to the far side, but good defending as well by uh, Pierce, who. Uh, But the Tollers is now up on the right hand side. That's the thing, they've still got so many threats to cope with. Three, two, then lose one nil if you get what I mean. So you need to try and uh, mix up uh, the defensive duties with the attacking threat and actually try and look to probe and hurt all the shot at some stage because so far they haven't really been troubled. Well, perhaps they can try and do something here as Harry has got a free kick foul by Harry's on uh, Robinson. Harry has got the uh, free kick and they're going to be looking to see what they can do next as they uh, have the free kick about 25 yards from the. Uh, Harry's looking to see whether or not they can probe away the older shot uh, back line. There's no, uh, there's no wall for this, but uh, to beat the goalkeeper from there is going to be be something special. 
Robinson steps over it. Caleb Richards lifts it over the goal, dipping, but uh, over the top and away for a goal kick. Well, again, no joy for the uh, Harriers. Strike force, and now immediately they're going to be put in on pressure, but uh, it's one back there by Oxlade Chamberlain. Zach Brown beating his man to the ball, gets it to Richards on that left hand side. No foul as uh, Bailey Hobson went down, and uh, a ball over the top. And Barham is in an offside position. Uh, be a free kick to Harriers. He was going to take that ball back a, a few yards as he kicked it forward. Plays it out to Hacked away there by Tyler Frost. Tolo's going to be beaten to it there by Pierce, and Harriers win it back defensively. Not back to Dibble. Penny has the ball back into his feet, and Zach Brown's come close to collect and to play out from the back. Trying to draw all the shot further forward. Penny on the right edge playing it forward good run this from Tollett trying to play it through to Robinson, Robinson gets it there I thought he was in an offside position initially he's denied in the end by the the challenge of Ollie Harfield Harfield doing well there to keep uh, Robinson at bay there he is though Looking a little bit more interested in going forward. Ball across the area. Oh, it's dropped by the keeper who gets there at the second attempt. And there's a Robinson free kick into the box. Or oh, Robinson cross into the box. But the goalkeeper spilled. Did well do uh, gather that again, Harriers though looking a little bit more dangerous in this second period, we're into the we're into the 62nd minute, a bit of uh, laziness there from Glover putting uh, Harfield under pressure as Harriers look to win the ball back through Robinson, into Brown, Brown trying to hold off the challenge on this near side back to Oxlade Chamberlain who holds and shields the ball while he's got Robinson on this right hand side Robinson gets to the byline. Can he get a delivery? Good step over. Swings the ball in. Oh, and it's trying to be tapped in by Caleb Richards with a, a reverse flick with his right foot. The ball's behind him. He's trying to get there, but... Arrived just perhaps a little bit too soon, but this is a good play from Harry as we're building a little bit of pressure on this older shot back line. Still, older shot ten one. Kidderminster Harriers nil, but Robinson getting a little bit of uh, value down this right flank at the moment. It's Tollett flicks the ball in field. It's a older shot ball. Back to the goalkeeper who volleys it to the halfway line. Met by the head of Zach Brown. Ball drops in the middle. Harriers win it through Richards. Trying to get it forward, but uh, Murray Morgan Smith was in an offside position. Tollett chasing it down. And Harriers trying to keep older shot in their back line. Ball drilled forward. Flicked up there by Barham. Little, little back flick. There he is, though, working hard to keep the ball alive. And do so successfully. Hobson trying to be the link man between the uh, two players going forward as uh, Oxlade-Chamberlain 
He's hounded out of it on that far side and a chance for Aldershot to come forward. Harriers win the ball back though, it's Pierce. Trying to find the way forward, Tollett on the halfway line, trying to turn away from his marker. Zach Brown looking for movement, everything to his, uh, either behind or to his left. Oxlade Chamberlain turns in the centre circle, feeds it up towards Tollett. Zach Brown is there, played in short. Pierce steps over the halfway line. Little ball infield, met though by Frost. Looks down, Penny getting the ball out to McNally. Harry is defensively happy to knock the ball about. Trying to draw older shot out. As the ball's driven long. Glover gets ahead of Robinson. McNally's clearance. Volleyed infield. Brown was chasing, but was never going to get there. And then McNally stands his ground. Good skill that though by the um, striker Jack Barham. Battling away there with uh, Alex Penny. The Harriers get a throw in on this near side. The Harriers right. And we've got 25 to go. And it's still older shot town one. Kidderminster Harriers nil. Ball down the line. Glover infield. Harriers win it back though by uh, through Pierce. It's still everything to play for. Well, 65 minutes gone. Still everything to play for, really. Oldershot Town 1, Kidderminster Harriers 0. Despite the onslaught in the first half where Oldershot really did put uh, Harriers to the sword. Second half, Harriers come out, regrouped a bit. Look a little bit more dangerous, but uh, at the moment they haven't got uh, had the opportunities, or very many of them, to really test this uh, Oldershot back line. And at the moment, it still remains 1-0. Trailing to that first half goal on 24 minutes. Oldershot Town 1, Harriers 0. Now there's an opportunity though as they race on oh, Oxley Chamberlain going down that channel but not quite being able to get to the ball. It's a goal kick. Tommy Widrington. And that includes 161 Harriers fans making it down to Aldershot. Excellent support for the Midlands team as Dapper Horse clearance. It's offside against Barham. As, uh, the ball went into Harriers territory. Harriers playing this high line and defensively doing everything right as uh, Penny and Oxley Chamberlain combine. Back in for Zach Brown. Brown trying to pull players forward. He's pulled Stokes forward to it this time. Penny getting the ball back this time from Matt Bailey Hobson out to the far side to Pierce he's doing everything right at the moment but uh, trying to draw and uh, pull them away Harriers through the right hand side now they've found space now Reese McNally charges into the area that's been left by Barham Plays it across to Hobson. Hobson just touching it into the path of Brown and then into Tollett. Tollett moving forward to his left. If he looks to his left, he's not going to. He's going to fire a long-range effort. It's, well, punched away, I think, is the easiest way we could describe it there by goalkeeper Van Stoppertoff. 69 in. Tollett unleashing a long-range drive. There he is. Going forward again. Robinson on this uh, near side. He's won the ball from the, the fullback. Trying to tease his way and wins a throw in on this near side. And now Christian Oxlade Chamberlain going to launch this ball into the area. McNally goes forward. Pierce goes forward. Penny goes forward into the area the 
Tollett just having a quick word with it, with Penny. Thinking, well, what's the movement off the ball with this one? It's a long throw. Near post, flicked on at the near post. Drops down, can Pierce finish? Oh! Over the bar from seven yards. Brilliantly getting the ball back onto his right foot. And then the rising shot over the older shot crossbar. But, uh, well, that may have been the chance. 20 to go here at uh, the EBB Stadium. Aldershot, who uh, enjoyed controlling the first half, sending Stokes forward again in towards Harriers territory. Blocked there by Reese McNally. And, uh, well, Nelly let it go, thinking it was going to be a goal kick. The referee says, no, it's a corner. So Aldershot shot have a corner on this near side. Morgan Smith racing back. Tollett, well, almost a lone figure. Got field, but uh, he's only midway inside his own half of the field. Less than 20 to go. Corner this near side. Glover raises his left arm. Looks to deliver a ball in, it's headed away there by Morgan Smith again, who's going to have a second opportunity, he's been knocked from behind. Referee says play on, and it's Christian Dibble with the ball in his hands, looking to launch this ball forward for Harriers. Penny bringing the ball down. Angled upfield there, a Tollett unable to keep it alive, and he's been robbed, and there's a chance now for Minogue to come forward. Looks for a ball, it's been cut out though by Pierce. If he looks infield, there's a chance for Harriers to get Hobson away. Brown, again, checks, knocks him back to Tollett. Tollett finds Oxley Chamberlain, then Brown. Brown trying to release it, but that's too far ahead of Hobson this time. And Harriers. We're going to try and get something going in the final 18 minutes. Older shot 10 1, Kidderminster Harriers 0. Long ball. Well, watch there by Pierce. Cleared forward there by Nally, I believe. And Harriers still trying to get on the end of it. Another clearance upfield. Flick on this time towards Barham. McNally comes across, puts a foot across and puts the ball out of play on the far side to deny Barham, who was uh, racing towards the area. Got Barham and Lauren Tollage, who were uh, key destructors of Swindon Town last week in the FA Cup. So Tollage it is, is on the ball. Blocked off there by Zach Brown. Tolos angling a ball into the area. Cleared this time by McNally. Simon's running the ball on it. Bailey Hobson. Glover's got back to him. Hobson cutting in field. Then a lovely ball into Robinson. Can he get it across? He can! Oh, and uh, Tollett changed the angle of his run. Tollett looked to be running onto that ball and then just turned himself infield a little bit. And Harriers just can't get on the end of that lovely ball in then by uh, Harriers' man. Sam Robinson. And he's pushing forward again as a clearance by Pierce. 17 minutes remaining. Header away again. Harry is still holding firm. The yellow and navy shirted visitors as the change is going to come on this near side for the home side. Well, Thomas is coming on to replace Law Tolaj. So Thomas is on, Tolaj is off. The 
And there is another change to be made, I think, is there? Yes. The board waiting to be raised, I think. And Harriers are making a change as well. Caleb Richards being withdrawn. Ryan McLean coming on. So winger for fullback. Harriers. side Morgan Smith chasing it down as Stoppage Horse comes out of his uh, goal area chested down Harriers win the throw McLean it is Pierce looking to take it looks like Christian uh, Christian Oxley Chamberlain rather out to this right hand side to Robinson Sammy Robinson going up against Glover, who's uh, backing him up, backing off him, and then Glover slips as he tries to turn him and move back to this near side of the field. Good work there from Reese McNally. He gets it back to his goalkeeper, Dibble. Tommy Woodard to trying to get his players to come out as the ball's picked up by, P by Paddy. Turns, has to knock it back to Dibble. We've got less than 15 remaining here. He's going short again, is the... Harry is centre back. Brown is going to the right hand side. Hobson coming to the left as the ball's driven forward towards Morgan Smith. Hobson picks up the loose ball into Penny. It's still Harriers with control of the ball. Penny, step over there, finds the ball forward again. Harry is moving on. It's Tollett. Referee. Pulling the uh, play back. Harry is uh, starting again then. Tollett. Brown's run ahead of him. Tollett's run the ball twice into uh, older shot players. The break is on, but the uh, challenge is there, and it's Pierce leading the charge. The Harry is centre back, trying to get it forward to uh, Morgan Smith, who comes back as well to make the challenge, but the ball breaks. Minoja racing on that far side checks, feeds it back in this time to Tyler Frost Nothing. we've had 77 minutes of the game and it's still Aldershot 1 getting into Harriers nil, but Harriers showing more and more intent towards the uh, Aldershot goal and certainly playing uh, their part in what, uh, what is now a very entertaining game they haven't been able to really test goalkeeper uh, Jordi Van Stopper off, although he had uh, to punch out uh, a free kick uh, just uh, not so long ago Tollett with a long range blast that saw uh, Stubbinoff just about get down to it and Pierce, well he's just put one over the bar six minutes or so ago when uh, he turned, great control to get the ball back onto his right foot but just slightly leaning back and lifting it over the bar with the, not so the goal in his mercy but it's a great opportunity, Harry is still pressing forward again, a good delivery from the right hand side but again Ryan McLean who's just come on, couldn't take the finishing touch to it, we've had 77 minutes gone Final 13 to go. Older shot down one. Kidderminster to Harriers nil. The fourth official telling uh, Tommy Widrington to stay within his technical area. Widrington getting under. Already had a yellow card brandished to him from the referee Paul Johnson, who had a good game. Harriers holding uh, firm, and uh, well, Zach Brown was certainly had a more than a, a little bit of the uh, older shot town shirt it must be said that it's probably the same the other way but older shot don't look as comfortable as they did when they came out at the start of this second half Harry is uh, testing them but they do trail by a goal to nil ball play back and Harry is looking to close them down Harry's getting it back to his goalkeeper and out to this right hand side Harfield trying to go forward, but uh, it's blocked by Robinson. Harfield with the ball down. Back to Harris, who drives it long. Header infield. Good work there from uh, Penny. Finds Pierce, and now Zach Brown looking to charge, and McLean's making a big run down the left flank, and it's McLean on the ball. He's played it into Bailey Hobson. 
Hobson, 20 yards out, trying to open it up for Robinson, who gets into the area, flicks the ball across. Oh, and it's headed wide. He's taking a deflection from Morgan Smith. And it's uh, a deflection that's taken it for a corner, and Harry has put in pressure on that back line. Good defending again from Harding, who got that last touch to Morgan Smith's effort towards goal. Harry is again pressing on, looking for that equalising goal. Robinson it is with the corner on this right hand side. Harriers have lined everybody up right at the front edge of the six yard box and now making another run away and then they've opened it up again towards the far post. Nobody looking right at the back and it's dropped down to Hobson. Hobson shot through a sea of legs and a good save from the goalkeeper. And stoppers off getting the uh, save. There he is, looking more and more dangerous. To be fair, I haven't made a note in the second half of Aldershot having a chance on the Harriers' goal. It's almost as though it's been turned on its head this match. <laughs> Aldershot having loads of chances first half and nothing second half. <laughs> It's been one of those games, you sort of think. Holding out in the first half and trying to make something happen in the second. That's what you like about football. <laughs> <laughs> Ten to go. Harry is looking to see if they can get on the end of it. Good header back, though, this time by the fullback Harley, who, Harfield, who's had a really good game in, uh, in my eyes. Ball forward. Woodrington misses his clearance. Drops down. Penny takes it away from Barham, then steps on the ball and now the break is on for Aldershot squared across field this time into the path of Widrington out to this left hand side to Glover Harry's, Harry's made the run into the area left footed ball into the centre, Harriers with defensive numbers back and then the clearance from Robinson out to that far side McLean's chasing Harriers get the free to, for throw in as Tollett flicks the ball off the defender. Eight and a half to go. Plus added time, it must be said. But there he is, pushing on. Well, Aldershot could have been out of sight in the first half, but wasn't to be. There he is, with that little spell around the air mark, which... Gave them a bit of hope, a few changes. That shot from Pierce over the bar, 20 minutes remaining then. And they've continued to press. And Amari Morgan Smith was the last one. It's a tug on his uh, shirt. And the referee says play on as they knock it back to Pierce. Slicing the ball up to this left hand side towards uh, Hobson. Hobson trying to get the uh, better of uh, Only Harfield. Driven forward by Van Stoppers off. Chested down there by Thomas. Lovely play. Thomas taking it on. And that will be. Well, I don't know what's happened there. The two Harriers players went to try and uh, win the ball. Two Harriers players have gone down. I'm thinking it's probably Penny who's. Uh, Conceded that free kick. Former Thomas brought it down. Penny is up there, limping away from the uh, uh, free kick. Free kick, two players standing over it. Widrington is one, Tyler Frost is the other. As older shot, look to extend their advantage if they can. Second goal now would probably kill it. Widrington with the effort, 
That's uh, over the bar. And there he's gone down with Crabb, the uh, manager's son. That's, uh, that's one way to try and deflect how bad the free kick was. Off, uh, off you go down, holding your leg aloft and hoping for sympathy, which is not coming <laughs> at the moment from anybody in the crowd. <laughs> Harry is again looking at another change being made. Morgan Smith off. And Jack Lambert on. So, Mark, five minutes remain. Coming off number nine, Amari Morgan Smith, being replaced by number 11, Jack Lambert. So, Lambert coming on to orchestrate things back from injury. Had a quad injury and has uh, been missing since the middle of September when they played at Gateshead and lost 3 0. This is his first game back. But uh, Harry has stuck in there, only a goal down, came out second half, renewed energy, renewed fight, renewed changes, and uh, Widrington is being withdrawn. One thinks he uh, can't overcome his uh, leg injury. Just starting to go off cold here at... Uh, the EBB Stadium and number 34 Bajan Tedek is coming on Bajan Tedek then coming on as uh, Widrington makes his way off to this near side of the field Come back late into this fixture. So we take it uh, by Dibble. The referee blows his whistle. And how he is play it short. Uh, it's Reese McNally breaking into the area, fires the ball across, but uh, Harriers can't pick up. Played away from Kame Thomas. Thomas it is who goes down, and Harriers. <laughs> concede the free kick. And uh, well, there's going to be a booking for the Harriers. Uh, management team here Russ Penn getting a yellow card as well so both managers getting a yellow card courtesy of the fourth official so Jake Hillier bringing the referee's attention to somebody shouted at me syndrome Ball down on this near side. Glover trying to get the better of uh, McNally. He does. He gets the ball into the centre. Now he is defending numbers though. And there's a shirt being pulled there. And uh, again, nobody's noticed that one. Throwing on this near side. Eighty-nine minutes gone. Harry has still got a, an opportunity here. Ball down. Should be opened up, but it's uh, fired off the uh, playing surface there by Josh Stokes. Stokes, who got the opening goal, it could be the all-important goal on twenty-four minutes. As Harry has played the ball back to Christian Dibble into the final minute of normal time here ball played up to Tollett turns away from his man and then runs into danger and gives the ball away Thomas 
Harry's trying to get bodies back. It should be a say, oh, it's across the face of goal and it's out of play, is it? No. Referee says play on, still. Order shot with the ball at their feet. Harry is are likely to throw bodies at it now to try and get a point as the ball's driven wide by Harry's out to that far side. McLean with a firm header forward. Harry is trying to keep it going. It's going to be a Harry's throw, is it? Five minutes of added time then we're going into here at the EBB Stadium. Aldershot Town 1, Kidderminster Harry is nil. Harry is trying to push on. Getting the ball down. Again, giving the ball away. Tollett giving the ball away this time. And Pierce will go in into the referee's notebook. This afternoon's Aldershot Town Man of the Match is chosen by our match sponsors, Folio 3, East number 3, Ollie Harfield. I'd agree with that. Ollie Harfield being Man of the Match quite... Uh, quite definitely in my book who's had a, a brilliant game no complaints there 90 plus 1 when uh, Pierce got into the referee's notebook played down that far side again Aldershot trying to take the ball towards the corner flag and trying to hold out there at the moment but Harry is holding through uh, Christian Pierce the uh, Harry is captain getting booked in that uh, that move ball still in that far corner as Aldershot trying to hold it onto the ball out there Yeah, well, you've got three and a half minutes left of the five minutes of added time. It's still Aldershot Town 1. Kidderminster Harry is nil. Aldershot trying to waste time and keep the ball down in that uh, bottom corner, or well, the top corner is from where we are. Uh, furthest away from our commentary position, way over on the Harriers' left-hand side of the field. Uh, but at the moment, they uh, have that goal that was given them on their 24 minutes, and Harriers, second half, what a performance they've put together. They haven't quite got the goal yet, but you do get a feeling that... Uh, that it may just be coming as Harry has again pressed forward. Little mistake there, giving the ball in the middle of the park. Good work from uh, Tetek, who plays the ball forward, and now Aldershot can break. But Harry is uh, looking to try and get in on the end of this one at the moment. Good challenge in the middle by uh, Reese McNally. The referee gives the uh, free kick to Aldershot as the player goes down, holding the ball. We've got uh, just two and a half minutes of the five minutes left. It's Aldershot Town 1, Kidderminster to Harry as well. Also trying to break again there as Harry is pressed forward, but... 1-0 defeat. Seeming likely at the moment. Aldershot having to throw bodies back as Harry is throw bodies forward, which is what's likely to happen in these last two minutes or so. As uh, Aldershot break away. Corby Thomas gets another free kick. Down that uh, near side. Free kick to Aldershot. And there he is. We've got to try and find something out of this at the moment. Ball down in the corner, flag down this near side. Harriers get the throw in. Referee well positioned there. 90 seconds remain. Harriers trying to get the ball back on play. The referee being a bit, uh, a bit picky. Paul Johnson. There's all the shot. Defending numbers. Firm header coming over to this near side. Harriers continue to make progress. the ball down the line, it's headed in field Hobson couldn't quite get there Robinson couldn't either, ball's off Smith, it's Kwame Thomas who can't keep the ball in play and Harriers will have another throw in and we've got just under a minute now as Harriers play the ball across field Pierce out this time Harriers coming forward again can they find a way through 
Oh, very nearly. McLean trying to find a way there, and it's Corey Thomas who's going to be beaten to the ball, is he, by Pierce? Corey Thomas holding players off. The referee says no, and they've broken through. Then he goes down. Towards the free kick, two older shot. You can hear that. Five minutes of added time has now been played. I saw it easy. <laughs> Even the older shot players, uh, fans rather, are saying that the, the substitute of older shot there handled the boys, and he can see from here. He's, I've got to be honest, we are about 70, 80 yards away. Uh, probably a little bit more than that. But it did seem as though Kwame Thomas had handled the ball, but he'll hold the ball up now. And Aldershot Town have taken the three points on offer here at the EBB Stadium. That first half goal from Josh Stokes, the only advantage that Aldershot gained from quite a, a, an intensive first half. And there's a booking late on for the Harriers. Uh, number 20, he's gone up to protest at the referee and received a yellow card. As uh, Sam Robinson making his uh, way to the referee a yellow card brandished in his uh, direction that's a, a sour point at the end of the game frustration for Harriers players whose second half came out and uh, played some uh, some decent football had some opportunities but Aldershot held firm despite those uh, advantages for the visitors so Josh Stokes goal 24 minutes, holding off uh, Christian Oxlade Chamberlain before banging them all into the bottom right of Christian's double goal. That's the only one that Aldershot could score. They did have a few more opportunities. Barham, Stokes, especially having uh, opportunities. Glover shooting from distance and Dibble save comfortably. The second half, it's been virtually all Harriers, uh, or should I say, the chances falling to Harriers. Nothing of note for the home team in the second 45 minutes. But as it was, they'd done enough in the first to see Harriers off. So, uh, final score here at uh, the RBB Stadium. And uh, Harriers come away with a final score of Aldershot Town 1, Kidderminster Harriers 0. Aldershot Town 1, yeah, what a contrast in, uh, in half. Well, but Aldershot Town, I can tell you, have beaten uh, Kitty Mr. Harriers by one goal to nil. Much better performance in the second half. Uh, let's see if we can go back to Steve Miller now. We had a few issues there. Uh, we'll see if we can catch up with Steve now. Steve, I don't know if the signal will hold up. We'll give it one more go. It's uh, Aldershot 1, Kitty Mr. Harriers nil here, Trev. Josh Stokes' 24th minute goal is the goal that separates the two sides at the end of an entertaining game. First half, Aldershot dominated. Second half, Harry has created the better opportunities, so much so that Aldershot didn't have a shot at goal in the second period. But alas for Harry, as they couldn't convert many of those opportunities to worthwhile efforts at Jordy Van. I think we're going to leave it there. Uh, sadly, we've had problems with that line. The reason being, apologies to Harriers supporters, but there is a broadcast line at the ground, uh, which we'd booked. Uh, but when Steve got there this afternoon, it was found it wasn't working. Uh, so we had to use a kind of backup device, which uh, was fine in the first half, I think. But the second half obviously caused a few issues. So apologies for that. But Aldershot Town won. Kidding Mr. Harriers nil. It finished this afternoon. Hasn't gone Harriers way either towards the foot of the table by the looks of things. The bottom four at the start of play were Oxford City, AFC Five. Well, AFC Five were outside the bottom four. They're in it now. Harriers are bottom. Oxford City, I think, have won today. Uh, though certainly they were winning. Uh, no, they lost. Sorry, they lost two at home to Barnet. So not as bad as it could have been. Harriers still bottom with 14 points. Oxford City have 14. AFC Five 16. Absolute United have dropped into the bottom four with 17. Maidenhead have moved out because they won today. They beat FC Halifax Town by a goal to nil. And York City won at Fylde. So uh, Harriers at the moment, uh, at the moment, I think stand are five points from safety. Uh, we'll get all that confirmed for you in the final hour of the programme. Let's pop back to the Victoria ground. I haven't quite finished the last time we were there. Bromsgrove sporting against Stratford Town. Has it finished now? <laughs> 